a uniform bar of weight W1, which is 35 newtons, is supported at its ends as shown. A block of weight W2, which is 10 newtons, is placed one quarter distance from one end. What is the magnitude of N1 and N2 exerted by the supports? I so want to find the magnitude of the normal forces here, N1 and N2. The first thing that we are going to do is we are going to look at the forces acting on this block in the Y. Since this thing is in equilibrium, then the net forces in the Y, the net forces in the X, and the net torque should give us zero. And so the net forces, starting with the net forces in the Y, we're going to look at those going up. We have got N1 and also N2. And I'm going to remove those going down, W1 and also W2. And this should give us a net force zero because it is at equilibrium. And we already know what N W1 is. W1, that is a 35. W2, that is a 10. So N1 plus N2 is equal to 45. So this is going to be the first equation that we are going to have. Now again, since I don't have any component in the X, I'm going to go and look at the net torque. So the net torque on this system is going to be equal to, I'm going to look at the anti-clockwise torques and also the clockwise torques. In this case, the anti-clockwise torques, I'm going to take those which are going up. So it is our duty to just get to fix one point. If I want, I can take this and fix it as the pivot, or I can fix this one. Let me get to fix N1. So if I take this as a fixed point, that is N1 as a fixed point, then looking at N2, how do we find torque? Torque is given by force multiplied by distance. So in this case, the force is N2. The distance, alpha, is N2 from the fixed point. So let's take the length of this beam as L. So we'll just call it L. That is the only force that will be going up. And then the rest are going down. Since this is fixed, we'll not include it because the distance of N1 is 0 because that's where we're starting to count from. And then the other ones are going to subtract because they're pointing down. We'll start with this one. We've been told that this weight has been placed at three quarters, I mean one quarter, from one end. So this is a quarter, one over four. If the length of this beam is L, then this will be one over four of L. And then the rest of the distance here is going to be three over four, three quarters of L, up to this point. So we are taking the distance from the fixed point. So we are going to say W2 multiplied by the distance from the fixed point that is 1 over 4, I mean 3 over 4, L. And then we are also removing W1, that's the weight, that's the force times distance. Now, the weight of something acts on its middle, therefore the distance of that one is going to be half of L. And the net torque is supposed to give us 0, this will be N2L minus W2, we know what that is, that is 10. So that would be 10 multiplied by 3 over 4 L minus W1, which is 35, multiplied by 1 over 2 L. So from here, the lengths are all common. They are going to cancel out. The length here cancels out with the length here and with the length there. And what are we going to have here? This will be 0 is equal to N2 minus 10 multiplied by 3 divided by 4. So that is 30 divided by 4, which is a 7.5. And then minus, this of course is a 2, that will be just a 5 divided by a 2, which is 17.5. So this will give us 0 being equal to n2 minus 7.5 plus 17.5. This is going to give us a 25. So taking 25 the other side, that will give us N2 being equal to 25 newtons. So to find N1, we're going to go in this equation. We know N1 is equal to 45 minus, we take N to the other side. So that will be minus 25. And well, 
45 minus 25, that is going to leave us with a 20 newtons. That is going to be our N1. And that is it for this problem. Thank you so much for watching.